it is me, HJP Design, and today I've got another figure set. Yes, I have got the other limited edition set. Not quite sure why it's called a limited edition, but this is the seventh Doctor. This is actually the silver silver nemesis set because it's the seventh Doctor with two sides of it. Um. So yeah, we're set to open them up. Uh, these are the new ones. If you're ever wondering what the new ones look like, they will have this down the side and the brand new Doctor Who logo on. So they're the new ones. That's the ones to look out for if you ever want one. These oh, prices of these. I'm sorry, I just got this. Um, the prices of these are uh, twenty pound a box. You get three figures and you get accessories like guns and stuff. I just destroyed that box. So, here they are. We have Sylvester McCoy and two Cybermen. These are the old Cybermen and they are with bloody elastic but the details on these Cybermen um, these were brought out singly by Toys R Us when we used to have a Toys R Us oh it came out first time um, and the single uh, the single um, ones weren't that good because I was looking at them so this is the Doctor. He used to have an umbrella, but he don't have one in this set. That it actually does look like him as well. Because some figures don't look like the characters. But yeah, no, that is good. He has had some changes. Yeah, I think he's his handkerchief in his pockets and his trousers have been changed to look more like the rest of the but now he is a good one I like him uh, the detail on the figure as well on his uh, scarf and his jacket is well his, his vest uh, is very good and the trousers it's just I saw him at Comic Con I didn't get his autograph because we've already got one of him but I saw him at Comic Con and we're going to have a look at the two Cybermen who have had a lot of work done from what I was doing. Now these, these are Cybermen, these are the old Cybermen, they're not new ones. Uh, they also come with guns. Cybermen. We have an ordinary Cyberman and like the leader of the Cybermen. Both of them come with guns. These are the Cybermen guns. They are tiny. And the Cybermen are here. So this is an ordinary assignment. And this is probably the commander of the assignment. I can't think what what he is called. Let me just have a look. He is called Cyber Leader. Oh, there you go. So here are the Cybermen. We have a Cyber Leader and an ordinary Cyberman. They look a bit all shot, right? This is what the old Cybermen used to look like in Sylvester McCoy's era. Um, I have looking, been looking at the old Cybermen that we have. Apparently there's a lot more clearer, the pipes are clearer because he has pipes that come from his head and from his uh, top into the back and the front of it is clearer. And also I noticed on the old ones uh, that you couldn't see their eyes. On these ones you can. He has black here and he also has black in his eyes, each one. They also come with a gun. 
which remember right, you put on top of something like that. I'm just looking at the pictures right over there off camera. I'm just looking, it's got to be something like this. Maybe I've got it something like that. But yeah, no, they hold it in something like, something like that. Right like down. It's not really sure, I've probably got the wrong thing, but. Oh, I get it. I think you're going to have to stand to put the door in the but yeah, I'll do Maybe if I stick it under his arm, a bit like that. No, it's not. But you balance it in his arm and it kind of like goes sideways like that, you see. But it won't go in. I don't want to force it. But yeah, now these, I like the look of these. Turn this over. Ooh, right now. Yeah, no, these are silver. I call them silver nemesis. They are. They're from that episode. But yeah, no, these are really good. The only downside is just trying to put the guns in their hands because the original, the first time these came out, is um, we used to. They used to have like a bit of material on the gun so they can just put them over the gun and hold it. But these ones don't. A big chunky hand. Detail on these Cybermen are quite good actually. I like them. Anyway, that's the Cyberman and that is the Cyberman leader. He is basically like the one in the David Tennant story. He's got you always know which one's which because they have black on their little handles on their head. But yeah, you when when you get this you will see the detail they have it's like a heart. Well soon we can try, but he has like a, a, a small a see-through top here you can see all the bits and it looks like a heart well it probably is a heart but yeah no that is a quite good figure to go along with this one these like I said retail at the I probably haven't said but let me put on hand on my hand these retail at the price of £20 but I'm sure because they're brand new and that's why they're £20 um, if you want to, I think you can still, if you go on like Amazon or eBay, you can still get them single, if you want to the single one, but I wouldn't. I would get them from the B&M store, because that's quite good value. Three figures for £20. Um, these are the little gun things, so if anybody knows how to put them in their arms without dropping them, uh, please uh, leave a comment, because I'm not quite sure. Try and do it later. Um, so yeah, um, <coughs> they are out in the bum shop. Like I said, said last time in the last video, you need to get there quick before they are all gone. So far, I've managed to get two um, sets of figures. Like there's three sets, you know three figure sets and a big finish one. I'm hoping next time I'm going to get another one. But that we will have to wait and see for. So all there is left for me to say is these toys are really good. I'm like a big kid. Um, but yeah, all there is left for me to say is don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for more of these figures because the detail on these figures um, are extraordinary and you can see all the latest ones that have come out and we might be talking about <coughs> we also have the mystery box so bye bye